Hello, Michal and Anna, La Suerte Dance School. Welcome to another class of Son Cubano. This will be already our class number four. Today, we are going to show you how to uh, influence steps, literally every single step of your partner um, because of frame movement. So we'll work on our frame. Um, some people like to say that it's a bit similar idea to uh, dancing kizomba and it's not very, very far away. Obviously, kizomba and, and son are completely different dances. I don't want anybody to uh, write me in a comment in future like, oh, the guy said that kizomba and son are the same. No, of course not. But the concepts for leading are quite similar. So if you are learning many different dances, uh, you are learning tango, you are learning kizomba, you are learning salsa, then obviously it will help you to develop as a dancer in general. Um, so we'll do that and we'll also show you uh, reverse de lecano, some the way to change positions uh, in a bit different way. Okay, let's do it. To show you this move, we'll need a bit of space. Maybe we'll show you the full routine first. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, and six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, four. Okay, now, what happened here? What happened? Quite a lot. Um, obviously, there are multiple variations of this step. I could start crossing opposite directions, I could start crossing with opposite legs, uh, I could do so many different things with it, but we'll show you now the simplest version, in my opinion. So we are doing basics uh, first to the side. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. We learn also by now that most of action starts after we open our legs. So this is four, we open legs, and now we start crossing with the left in front, guys. So first we're in front, open, back. This is uh, six, seven, eight, and then two, three, four. We keep crossing, front, open, back, open, front, open, back, open. Actually, this could last for a lot longer, just for presentation purposes. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, and front, and back, and open, front, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, four. Yeah, so we could carry on like that for quite a while. Obviously, we are limited with um, our cameras, so we can't do that. We'll repeat it only once, but if you want it, it could continue. Yeah? So the, in general, the rule is that you are crossing, opening, crossing, opening, cross, and open. From girl perspective, the same, front, back, front, back. So front, open, back, open, front, open, back, open. And at the same time, we try to keep our rhythm, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. So it can get confusing. For our routine, we are going to do only one repetition, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, we go, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. And here, a bit more strange de lecano. This is not de lecano really, uh, but I'm starting forward, six, seven, eight, I create space on my right side and now I will pull Anna, I'll cross my right behind my left and when I pull her, I will rotate myself without moving my legs at all. Ting, ting, hop. So she had three steps and I rotated completely to the right and we change position. Okay, we'll show you this element one more time fluently. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight and two, three, four. Important to realize where is my weight, six, seven, eight, and two, three, four. So the continuation is very, very natural. Then in our routine, we'll do one more time exactly the same, going with the left across, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, and one more time, hop, two, three, four. Rotate opposite tick, and two, three, four. Relatively short, However, not easy, does require a lot of practice and we'll show you one more time everything from top fluently. Two, three, four, six, seven, and we go. Two, three, cross, six, seven, eight, two, three, hop, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, basic. Six, seven, cross with left to the right. Six, seven, eight, two, three, one more front, hop, cross behind, walk for girls, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, four. It looks simple, but let me go through one more element. To make girl cross front or back, I always try to rotate her upper body. I don't try actually, I do that. 
So every time when she's crossing, she knows which way because I do prepare her. Ting, kum, tiki. And ting, kum, tiki. Ting, kum. Okay, this is where our camera view is finishing. Um, but this is how it works. I rotate my upper body and she's responding with her foot, whether she goes back or whether she goes front. Both directions would work exactly the same. If I wanted to travel to the left, it would be the same story. Eight and two, three, four, and six, seven, eight, and two, three, four, and six, seven, eight. It works as well. Um, changing directions, changing positions, changing balance and so on. These are very, very important elements. We'll show you a, bit, a few more um, moves similar to this, so you'll get a bit more idea how these concepts work. But now we'll practice with music. Six, seven, eight, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, pa, 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 and we go. Ding, ding, pa, ding, ding, pa. Ding, ding, pa, one more time. Ding, ding, pa, ding, ding, pa, ding, ding, pa. And again, up. And maybe opposite direction. Might lose our legs, but hopefully not. Maybe let's move up in this direction, huh? Okay, ready? Let's go. Ding, ding, hop. Ding, ding, hop. And one more time to the right with the left foot. Ding, ding, from. Cross. Soy de allí, donde el colega se su poesía. Soy de allí, donde hay fiesta y alegría. One more time. Soy de allí, y yo canto con el corazón. Last time, last time. Here we go. Soy de allí, y llevo un parrado. Toca el acordeón. Okay. Quite difficult concept. Leading to every single step, changing positions, rotating body of your partner. This is something what you have to practice. Um, ideally, even without music, without us, just count for yourself, count for your partner. Don't tell your partner what is your intention. Try to uh, make up the rotation and make up steps. So, for example, um, if, if I wanted to trick Anna a bit, I could do, for example, this. Mm -hmm. Without without any um, rotation. So I'll count it again. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And two, three, four, and six, seven, eight. And two, three, four, and six, seven, eight. And two, three, four, and six, seven, eight. And two, three, four. You can play around like that. Uh, it's kind of fun. It um, gives different It adds different dimension to your dance, so this is quite cool. In general, uh, when we teach people salsa, uh, let's say on the intermediate level, I always start to bring more concepts into dancing rather than just moves, yeah? And changing dynamics, changing um, ideas is always a good thing to do. Your dance is not uh, linear, it's um, more entertaining. So sometimes when I'm dancing, I get bored with myself, so then I start inventing new ideas as well. So this is how it works. Every time when you want to try something new, when you are thinking about trying something new, just do it, just do it. Um, in the end, dance is for your expression, not for anybody else. Again, we want to, uh, during this course, we want to stick to some ideas around son and we want to um, stay as close to them as possible. Some people who are teaching this day son, they like to call it son moderno. So yes, that they are using the son concepts, but uh, they are adding some um, new modern feel to it. And that's perfectly fine as well. Okay, zip, zip it. Uh, that's enough for now. If you would like to watch more 
like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. You can become a Patreon of our channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.